good morning and welcome to the 1st of December and my Slimming World Vlogmas. What do you get if you cross a snowman and a shark? Frostbite. Good evening and welcome back to my channel. You'll have to excuse the look of me um, because I have been batch cooking all afternoon. But I'm going to make my evening meal now and what I'm going to make is a Slimming World Friendly pizza. And I'm going to use Lodo. So this is two sins per piece. So the whole round thing is two sins. And it says 39 calories, which is obviously two sins. High fiber, fat free, low carb, gluten free, dairy free, high protein, paleo, sugar free and vegetarian. Now all I'd say where it says dairy free is it does contain eggs. <coughs> Excuse me, so just be aware of that. But other than that, it says low dough is ready to eat straight out of the packet. Simply open using the rip strip across the top, slide the product out and separate from the paper. You do get two slices in a pack. Um, Make kebabs, burritos, indulgent wraps and pizza with a fraction of the calories. Lodo is different to traditional bakery products. Due to its unique composition, it can dry out quickly if baked in the oven or heated under the grill without toppings. So the ingredients are water, wheat fibre, gluten free, dried free range egg white, stabiliser, cognac flour, psyllium husk powder and salt. So I am going to have a go at making a pizza for two sins. Um, to make a pizza, slim, simply top with your favourite ingredients and bake for 10 to 15 minutes at 180. And you can order Lodo from Lodo.co um, and I will link them below. But I will just add that I have paid for this from my own money, I'm not sponsored. I'm just trying this on the back of, it was at Slimcon and everybody loved it there and um, I've seen Katie Jane's video review and it looks really really nice so I wanted to try it for myself and to show you guys so I'm not sponsored, not paid for in any way, um, this video is not paid for and I've purchased this myself. So before I start with the toppings then I thought I'd try and show you a bit more, um, hang on let me just get a plate, a bit more in detail. Now you know I've got big plates, but that is the size of the loader, sorry about the shadows, and that is my hand. So it's a fair decent size. Oops and it's probably under a centimetre thick. I know this, these are the questions that people ask me at group that they wanted to know, wanted to know the size and how thick it was. So it's not, it's not going to be like a real pizza base, but it might make a good substitute. I've decided to bake it on my chip mesh, as my consultant is always going on about how good it is to cook things on here. So let's see what we're going to top it with. Right, so I've got all my toppings ready. I've got some um, passata in here. This was left over and I froze it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pastry brush to um, paint, to put some on. Pour a little bit on and then spread it out. You can use um, tomato puree or a bit more on. 
It is a little bit watery because it's been frozen. Probably sort of thickened it with a bit of um, puree. Right, so I've got um, a little bit of uh, passata on there. And then I've got my 40 grams of mozzarella. Now I know what I should have done is um, grated this up smaller, but never mind. Hopefully it'll spread out a little bit. That's definitely a big a, a big tip then is um, with your 40 grams of mozzarella, use um, one of this, get your, uh, if you get a non-grater one, you can have more as well, and then use the small side of your grater. So then Andrew's chopped me up some beef tomatoes. Uh, and then a few thin pepper strips and some red onions. If you can hear that in the background, it's only fools and horses. So that's my red onion and then I've got some you won't be able to see that barbecue um, chicken mini breast fillets these are from um, Morrison's and they are free I've just cut them up a little bit and I'm gonna just Probably should have put the cheese on top actually, but never mind, we all live and learn, don't we? I think that's enough chicken. And then I'm just going to scatter it with some oregano. What do you think, Mr Fawcett? Um. Yeah, it looks very pizza-y, doesn't it? So, can you remember what it said, the instructions? Uh, cook it and eat it, wouldn't it? Was it 180 for oh, 10? Oh yeah, 180 for 12 to 14 minutes. Yeah, so I am going to go and do that. And I'll come back and we'll have a taste. The Lodo's been in the oven on 180 for 11 minutes and I can see that it's gone crispy on the outside and all the cheese is melted and the toppings are well cooked so I think it's time for the taste test. What I've got for my, with my pizza is a big bowl of salad so some of the leftover toppings and some green salad, cucumber and tomatoes. I've got my pizza which has 40 grams of mo mozzarella cheese beef tomatoes, pepper slices, red onions and barbecue chicken. Got a crumble yoghurt for pudding and a Dr Pepper Zero. And now I'm going to hand the camera to Andrew so he can film me tasting. Hello, my name is Andrew and I am now filming. Take it away. Right, so yeah, there is a little bit of a, a crunch to it. Got a bit that's just loader and that's what it's like underneath. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's it's nice, yeah. It's not a pizza crust, but it's about the nearest you're gonna get. So that is two sins plus my healthy extra A and everything else is free. So yeah, I recommend you give that a try and I'll link the website below. Mm. 
I thought I'd add some more thoughts on the Lodo. So I found it really, really filling and I've actually left some. So I've left about four bites worth or four or five bites worth. Well, I'm still going to count two sins. Um, and I've left a bit of my salad. But yeah, it was really, really nice. I recommend it. So the actual base has no flavour or taste at all. It just takes on whatever you add to it. Um, so I would add a lot more seasoning next time. Um, and I wouldn't put like, you know, I just brushed on the passata. I wouldn't put loads on because otherwise it might go a bit soggy. Um, and I'd probably I'd maybe do it another minute or two um, just to see if the, the middle will crisp up anymore. I mean, it wasn't soggy, but it's got the potential to be soggy. So if you um, make sure you cook it for at least... 11 or 12 minutes in the oven yeah um i'm gonna i might have the other one tomorrow because i'm having lasagna tomorrow so i might make half garlic bread and then maybe do the other half like as as some kind of wrap or something with sausages but yeah so that's a couple of ideas it's not it's not cheap um, but it's really worth a try, especially if you're fancying a bit of a fake away pizza type or like wrap or fajita wrap or something like that. It's really worth a try. So yeah, I recommend um, Lodo.